not what is the solution. Well, well because my that's issue not right. is, though, is, is, is that, you know, the brand of Zionism with blockades of Gaza and, and doing all those horrible things is, is really bad. And I'm against it. But then there's I think it's terms when people use a term like Zionist. Well, I mean, the, 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 there's so many like Christians who 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 want the end of the world to happen in Israel. They call themselves Christian Zionists. So I think that's where these terms confuse people. I agree, they do. And you know, the, these are things that we need to distinguish the difference between because the last thing we need is misinformed people starting you know controversy that we don't need because we have bigger problems like the Bilderberg Group and these elite who see to control our world, our, our, our way of life, our way of thought. And that's the true terrorism. That's what we need to fight, is the fact that they go on the news and, and spread their propaganda to, to basically manifest fear in people. So when they come out with these outrageous uh, um, plans to, to have carbon taxes and this and that, we, we can't stand for that. And you know what? Information is everything. You're doing the right thing, and I'm going to do my part. I'm going to take footage of chemtrails. I'm going to, I've been telling every person that I come in contact with about you and your show, and I, that's just what I'm trying to do. I'm 26 years old. I'm a different demographic, and me and my friends, we've been buying respiration gear and biochemical suits. We've been buying everything we could, gold, everything, because we actually do think these elite are going to try something absurd, like martial law. And, you know, I, I just can't see that happening. I really well, well, I mean, it's an incremental martial law uh, where they put you through naked body scanners and then admit they're recording your genitals and laughing at you. That's martial law. Or when the IRS takes your house or when cities are taking houses for $360 water bills, that's martial law. Uh, when, the, when, when the government's saying that they may take your pension funds, that's martial law. When police are beating up people for videotaping them, that's martial law. And so incrementally, we are going into this. I'm going to hit a few news articles and a few more calls on the other side from Charlie, John, Sean, and others. Stay with us. Don't answer it. If fear strikes your heart when the phone rings, knowing it may be another bill collector, it's time for you to call Zero Debt in 90 Days, 800-477-9256. Settlements, bankruptcy, and attorneys are not the answer and may end up costing you up to 10 times more than necessary. Listen, if you're already in debt, does it make sense to get buried in another payment plan? Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt in 90 days guaranteed without a payment plan and without attorneys or going to court. Get the fastest relief from debt on the planet when you call 800-477-9256. If you have debt with the IRS, credit cards, student loans, or a foreclosure, we can help at zero debt in 90 days, and we are the only organization to provide written guarantees on the results. Go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. Or call now for free information, 800-477-9256. That's 800-477-9256. They help to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Fact. Four million people in the U.S. have hepatitis C due to liver damage. Fact. Cirrhosis of the liver is the eighth leading cause of death among Americans. Fact. Alcohol, many prescription drugs, food additives, pesticides, and environmental toxins damage the liver. Fact. One in ten Americans is or has been affected by liver or gallbladder disease. Fact. Anything that keeps the liver from doing its job can put your life in danger. Protect your liver by visiting researchedherbs.com and learning more about the world's number one selling all-natural 
liver support formula, Live 52. It is the only herbal liver supplement that is backed by over 190 published clinical trials and endorsed by a quarter of a million healthcare professionals in 76 countries worldwide. Don't wait to protect your liver. Visit us at researchedherbs.com or call 1-800-973-1486. That's 1-800-973-1486 or go to researchedherbs.com. All the goodness with none of the side effects. Well, a couple of weeks ago, prominent members of Chicago society, 80 plus years old, were being robbed at weapon point, so they defended themselves with firearms. And I said, watch, they're probably going to be indicted. And um, the mob boss daily is moving to have them indicted. Uh, Korean War vet in Chicago in the last few days used a firearm to shoot and kill a longtime felon uh, who was um, benefited from the catch and release program, and he was uh, breaking in uh, to the home um, and attacking the guy's wife, so he shot him. And uh, Mayor Daly is basically calling him scum. Just like a reporter a few weeks ago talked about the Second Amendment and how there's no right to own guns in Chicago, so they have a higher crime rate. And, and Daly went crazy and said, I will shove a gun up your, and I will, you know, I'll blow you away. I mean, he's just, I'm a, I mean, he's just like a wild animal. I rule you. I'm going to get your guns. I own you. I'm taking it all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, that's just who these people are. Bloomberg, all of them. New law will require a license to be a journalist. Uh, that's all over the news. Uh, calls increase for government to regulate internet journalists and bloggers. Uh, liberal coalition demands FCC move to shut down talk radio. I mean, this is like, this is all over the news. This is mainstream news. This is going on. Here's some good news, though. They demonized Rand Paul, said he was basically Adolf Hitler. What happened? It was all lies. His approval rating and his polls went up. Went up. So that's the good news. People are not buying the propaganda anymore in that article is at GCN Live, just GCNLive.com by Paul Watson. Rand Paul extends lead over Conway despite racism smear. Get this out to everybody. Send it to the media and say, you're out of bullets. No one believes you anymore. When you demonize someone, people go, oh, I better vote for him. Charlie in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Pleasure to talk to you, Alex. Long time listener, first time caller. I'm going Welcome. to be very brief. We're running out of time. Uh, like yourself, I always like to uh, get my information correct. I'm sorry I missed Victor when he was on, but uh, I have a statement from a Dr. Alan Saborski. He's the former director of Strategic Studies Institute, U.S. Army War College. He states in a one-line statement, it is 100% certain 9-11 was a Mossad operation. He's an impeccable source, and I think he has uh, access to intelligence that you and I could only dream of having. Uh, who is that again? Dr. Alan Saborski, S-A-B-R-O-S-K-Y. My he, only issue is I had Alan Hart on earlier, former top BBC reporter, and he said, well, I think the Arabs are going to attack us and Israel knew and basically piggybacked. And from my research... Uh, you know, uh, NORAD was ordered to stand down. Cheney, in front of the transportation secretary in the bunker, said the order still stands for the stand down. Uh, the U.S. embassies were ordered to let the guys in. They were trained at military bases. They thought they were taking part in a drill. And I know it's all kind of cause celeb and trendy to say Israel did it. Uh, I understand that. And I'm not saying Israel doesn't do false flags. And there were a lot of neocons involved in 9-11 that are, you know, really Israeli agents. But to say just Israel did it, uh, I like Tarpley's detailed analysis, Charlie. And that explains how they have mole rogue networks in all the major Western intelligence agencies. It's kind of like the Mujahideen had Pakistani, Israeli, U.S. and British support. And, and over and over again, they I'm just saying there's multi heads of the Hydra. People say, no, it's a one-headed dragon. Well, I mean, you know, uh, my research shows multi-headed dragon. I mean, what do you say to that? I believe there are others that are complicit in this operation. It just wasn't one-sided. I want to touch on one other thing, and then I'm going to let others get through. As far as your uh, chemtrail spraying with the chemicals that we're all being exposed to, there's a product out there that will get rid of all of these toxins in our... Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. 
Uh, so we want to have time to get others through. Mike, John, Sean, James, call back tomorrow. I'll get you ahead of the line if you tell folks you were on hold. Great job, crew. Retransmission starts now. We had news from Bilderberg. Stay with us, InfoWars.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. The question is, where should the American people draw their line in the sand? What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? A republic is based on a constitution which protects minority rights. Not democracy, not mob rule, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. So they think they own our land?